Science you can try at home. Hi guys. Well, today's science is a very simple one, very simple experiment that we can try at home, and it's inspired by these wonderful little things here. Uh, these are some seeds from a plane tree, and what they have is the ability to slow themselves down as they fall from the tree. They spin as they fly. There may not be enough room to show it here, but they're quite amazing things. They have a wing built into the seed. Now, the question then is, um, first of all, how do they do it? And the other one, of course, is can we make our own version of the same sort of thing? So today, we're going to have a little experiment and see if we can recreate our own one. So, all we need to get started to make our own gyro kite or gyro shoot, if you want to call it that, is one of these templates. Um, now I'll try to find a way to get you a template loaded up. Um, you can download it from me or just about anywhere actually. If you type in paper helicopter or pa paper gyro, you should be able to find a template this like this. I've made this one, but it doesn't matter who. Now the other thing you'll need is a uh, paper clip that is going to be our weight, our ballast for it, and a pair of scissors, and that's all you need to get started. Later on you might decide to decorate it or whatever, uh, but the initial making of it is very simple. So this template makes three gyros. So what we're going to do is just make one to start with. On here, the lines that you cut uh, solid lines are the lines that you fold are uh, dashed. Pop that aside, that's all you need to start with. So, next cut straight down there. One that isn't mentioned on the piece of paper is just to fold this down here, give this a bit more weight towards the bottom, and put your paper clip on there. And there's your the bottom of your gyro is already done. Now with these ones, you can see the arrows are pointing in different directions. Fold one this way. Be careful to make it as straight as you can. That'll help it to fly better. And then the other one, just fold in the other direction. Same thing, making it as straight and neat as you can. And then, you'll end up with a shape like that. Very simple, very easy. If you don't get hold of the template, you can make a shape that's generally the same as this anyway. Just cut it from paper. Um, just use your icrometer, have a guess, take an estimation of where the cuts are, um, and it'll still work. So, let's have a fly of this one, see how it flies. The next step is, after that, to see how you can experiment with it. Oh, you got out. Oh well, see what happens. Ah, good boy, Jackie. You didn't eat it. Two. Take two. Look at that. It's going beautifully. Nice. Okay, go. And coding, coding. Okay, so what's happening in our paper gyros, the uh, gyrocopters, well, they get, all, get called all sorts of things. Well, two things are happening at once. Gravity is pulling it down. Um, you'll notice it works, probably you found it works better with a paper clip stuck on the bottom. It gives it a bit of ballast and keeps it pointing towards the ground. So gravity is the main force on it. What the blades do is to create a parachute-like effect. They increase the air resistance as it's falling down. Why does it spin? 
Well, there's a kind of effect called auto rotation that happens, and the spinning also helps to slow it down because it's creating like a um, a, a screw-like path through the air. So instead of falling straight down, it's spinning down like that, which obviously takes longer than just going straight down. So the overall effect is that it is still falling. Gravity is stronger than um, what the wings can provide in lift because there's no actual extra energy we've put into it. The only, the only, we're kind of using the force of gravity to help turn the blades. So it still falls, but it falls a lot slower than it would if it was just that amount of mass in a small ball. Um, so that's basically how it works. Now the cool thing is, there are actual machines that use the same principle, and we'll have a look at those next. The very first auto gyro was invented by Juan de la Serva in 1923. Gyros were developed for the military because they could fly slowly and land in very tight spots. During the Second World War, gyrocopters were mainly used for surveillance. Modern gyrocopters are mainly used for recreational flying, like microlites. Mm -hmm. 